So the mystery has kind of been solved. So Riddler Q posted a riddle the other day about just five different Pokemon on the screen, and we had to kind of guess what it is. And it's in relation to a Mega Pokemon. At least that's what we're thinking, that it's in relation to a brand new Mega Pokemon that's going to come out with Legend ZA. Somebody cracked the code, which is crazy. I don't know how this person even did this, but basically the answer is rogue. Some people are saying rouge, which rouge means red in French. So even if it's rogue or rouge, I still feel like it's probably the same thing overall, because if it is rouge, red, there are... My first initial thought was like Talonflame or another type of fire Pokemon within Generation 6. I'm guessing this is probably going to be a Gen 6 Pokemon because as of right now, we only have one Generation 6 Pokemon with an official Mega Evolution, which is kind of crazy. But here's the thing. Greninja is a rogue because that's kind of what these starters are based on. You know, Greninja is a rogue, Chestnut's a Paladin, Delphox is a Mage. So right there is like... Okay, straight up, Greninja is a rogue, and it's probably gonna be Mega Greninja. I feel like the odds for this are it's probably gonna be Mega Greninja or, hear me out, Crawdont. Also, if you guys don't mind checking out my brand new TikTok page, it's at FundorasYT. Eventually, I'm gonna change it to Fundoras, but I can't use that username yet, but I will. The link will be in the description down below, and leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel, guys, and leave a comment, what Mega Pokemon do you want to see for Legend ZA? Any support goes a really long way, and I really appreciate it. So, what's crazy about Crawdont is that Crawdont is actually, like, officially labeled as the rogue, like, a rogue Pokemon. So, it even could be a Mega Crawdon, which is crazy, and he's also red, so that would even add up with Rouge, which is the French term for red. I think a Mega Crawdon would be pretty cool, but here's a picture of all the Gen 6 Pokemon. We do have a pretty good amount of fire types that could possibly potentially be what they mean behind Rogue or Rouge, but like I said earlier, it's probably going to be Greninja or Crawdon. I would love Mega Talonflame. I think Mega Talonflame would be super awesome or like i'm wondering if we're even going to get a mega yveltal and xerneas because we don't have those and i'd imagine we we might get those i mean if not i i understand because this game is zygarde based and not based around those legendaries so it'd be cool to see that but we're definitely getting mega zygarde that's been leaked we're getting zero aura as a, a new mega as well i'm pretty sure that's what it was and then i think those are the only like leaked mega pokemon that are coming out we're definitely getting a couple more my theory is that we're gonna get probably like 10 ish mega pokemon because we we don't have that many mega pokemon in general and they're not just going to give us a ton of brand new megas because mega evolution is supposed to be like a special thing so they're definitely going to keep it as special as they can but it's definitely got to be greninja right because since the generation 6 starters are all based off of different rpg classes greninja is literally a rogue that would just make sense, and I feel like Mega Greninja has been one of like the biggest fan desired Mega Pokemon that I believe that they they gotta give it to us. Ash's Greninja that a lot of people are just like, well, this is just Mega Greninja, which it could be. Who knows? Like that could be Mega Greninja, but if it's not, you know, we're gonna get a brand new design, which would be pretty cool to see. Because if you don't know, we could actually get Ash's Greninja and Sun and Moon. I not Ultra Sun and Moon, right? I think it was just regular Sun and Moon. You could actually get it in that game if you had, like, the demo version. You could, like, bring it over to the real mainline game. Kind of interesting stuff there. Some people were also thinking that, like, Rogue could be, like, the type of alpha Pokemon that Legends Arceus had. Like, you know how they had the wild, like, alpha Pokemon? There could be wild Rogue Pokemon, which I definitely think will have something like that. Like, there's probably going to be some sort of Pokemon similar to that. And I I'm just really interested because Central Leaks... I don't think is going to say much more about Legend ZA. I'm pretty sure like his source of the leaks is, has pretty much cut everyone off from Legend ZA related things. I mean, we might we may get a couple things here and there. Central Leaks also posted everything we need to know as of right now for Legend ZA, which I'm going to get to just in a couple minutes here or just a couple seconds, I guess. But I feel like Riddler 2 is probably going to be our number one source for Legend ZA leaks for the next couple of months if we don't get anything more from Central Leaks related to Legend ZA. And the reason I'm saying that is because Riddler Ku riddles that stuff and we kind of have to guess. And like I said, I can't believe somebody figured this one out because this one is crazy. But I would love to see Mega Greninja and Crawdon would be cool too because those two Pokemon fit the term Rogue or Rouge the best. So who knows what we're going to see. Leave a comment down below, would you rather have Greninja or Crawdon? I definitely think everyone's probably going to say Greninja, because I'd say Greninja too. And Riddler Koo also stated that he is making more of these puzzles. Not related to this specific puzzle, but he's going to make new ones, which is going to be really interesting to see. I'm, I'm excited to see what new riddles come out, because 
there are like hundreds of thousands of people that are seeing this like this post of the five pokemon has almost 1 million views so somebody's gonna figure out all these puzzles you know what i mean like every single one of these puzzles that he's gonna post is going to be solved because there's so many eyes on it and so many people are gonna just figure it out you know what i mean so i'm excited to see what we learn moving forward so here are all the things to get cut off with Legend ZA. This is from Central Leagues. It takes place entirely within Lumio City, which we knew from the trailer, and I guess it really does. My theory was early on that we'd probably have some sort of like area to go outside of the city, but I don't know. It looks like we may not. If you look at the map in the trailer, there are a bunch of different circles, which I'm thinking that those could be some wildlife areas within Lumio City. Anyways, being developed for the Switch 1, not 2. Once again, my early theory was that we would get this on the Switch 2 and not the Switch 1, but I guess it's the opposite. I guess it's coming out on the Switch 1 only, which, I mean, I'm fine with. I was kind of hoping for it to come out on the Switch 2, though. That's why I thought that they were not giving us any trailer footage was because it was on the Switch 2, so they didn't want us to see the graphics or anything, but I guess it's just Switch 1, so that's pretty interesting, and which is kind of scary because it has performance issues, apparently, which we're going to get to just in, couple, just in a couple seconds here. Talking about the new Mega Pokemon that we already talked about, the Shiny Sparkle from Legends Arceus is coming back. That's awesome. If you don't know what that is, basically if a shiny Pokemon popped up or appears on your screen, it's going to play like a little shiny charm. So you're going to know if a shiny Pokemon showed up rather than in Scarlet and Violet where a shiny Pokemon would show up. You just have to visually see it. There was no noise, which I think the noise is great. Apparently this game is also not going to be set in the past, and even if it is, it's going to take place in like the modern era, so it's not going to be like the, like, like so far back in the past. It's probably going to be after the events of X and Y, which is pretty interesting to me, and it would make sense just because the trailer did say redevelopment plan, and if you're redeveloping something, you're redoing it, and if Lumio City was already built, you know, there's got to be some reason that they're redeveloping, you know what I mean? My theory was that something's going to happen with the ultimate weapon and the whole city is going to be like destroyed or I don't know, something like that. Or maybe they have to like defend against a, a, an opposing threat coming in. I guess we'll have to see why exactly we're going to be redeveloping the city in this game. Art style is similar to Scarlet and Violet and the art style isn't necessarily graphics. Art style is just like the art style, you know what I mean? I don't know how to say that in any better terms, but basically it's still going to have like kind of like that soft pastel vibe going on that Scarlet and Violet has rather than like, rather than Legends Arceus, it was kind of like a, like a Japanese like storybook kind of art style. And unfortunately, this game reportedly has performance issues just like Scarlet and Violet. I'm really hoping that is because it was played on like a PC and not on the actual Switch because I don't know if they were actually able to get it on the Switch because I think they just had like the files and I think they played through it on the computer. So my hope is that that's going to be all fixed. I, I can't imagine them giving us another game with performance issues just because of the feedback that Scarlet and Violet had. And, you know, people were upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't know if how bad it affected sales because they still sold a ton of copies of Scarlet and Violet, but that's concerning to me. I do not want to see any performance issues at all. Mabel from Team Flare is in the game, part of the Quasar organization somehow. That's pretty interesting. The Quasar organization was like a little image flashed in the trailer. So we're going to, I hope we get to know more about the Quasar organization. It was originally planned to release in 2024. And now the current release date is probably between April and July, 2025, unless there's another delay, which I hope there's not another delay. And if there is another delay, I hope it's for the performance issues. And I hope they fix that. And the most random one of all, Stunfisk is in the game. whoop de doo We got Stunfisk coming back. You know, everybody's, everybody's been asking for this forever. Stunfisk, man, it's back. Anyways, that's pretty much all we know up to this point. So I think we're going to get Mega Greninja. I already made a video about it, and I really think we're getting Mega Greninja. But let me know what you guys think, who we're going to get. Make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for future updates.